Hi everyone, my name is Yok Kwan. I specialize in using wild and uncommon plants in home cooked dishes and I'm a freelance trainer in this area. I partner with various organizations and institutes for training and this time together with Ground Up Initiative, we are here to share some lesser known facts about plants that are a part of our history and suggest interesting projects that you can try out at home. This video is part of a series of three videos in which our team from Ground Up Initiative will introduce you to a selection of plants from the National Museum of Singapore's William Farquhar Collection of Natural History Drawings. We will also show you a few do-it-yourself or DIY projects using plants and fruits that are commonly found in Singapore. Please stay with us to watch our demonstration before you try the DIY projects at home. In this episode, I'll be talking about some little known edible plants from the William Farquhar collection. Who is William Farquhar? William Farquhar was the first resident and commandant of Singapore and had a strong interest in natural history. In the early 19th century, he commissioned this set of drawings to paint and document the diverse flora and fauna of the Malay Peninsula which resulted in this collection of 477 watercolours. This collection was then donated to National Museum of Singapore in 1995 by businessman Mr Go Yok Kim. Today, we are going to show you a few unusual edible plants that can be found in William Farquhar collection of natural history drawings. While some of them are used for culinary purposes, the others were used mostly as medicines. Also, at the second part of this video, you'll get to see how we turn one of the plants into a delicious drink. Now, let's start with an interesting plant. This is a picture plant. It's a plant that you can find at home as an ornamental plant, and you can also find it in swamp forest. It has a glossy surface and a dull underside and a very obvious meat rib. The end of the leaf is connected to a tendril, which is then connected to a picture. The picture is rounded at the bottom and constricted in the middle, and it has an open flap at the top. The matured picture will have an open flap. This is an immature picture. It has a closed flap. The rim of the picture plant is slippery, and it allows the insect to slip into the cavity. And the liquid inside the cavity will drown the insect and dissolve the bodies and become the nutrients for the picture plant. The thickness of the stem of the picture plant is about 5 mm. This is the matured stem of the picture plant. It is tough and hard. As a folk medicine, the stem and leaves were boiled into concoction to relieve cough. The fluid in the unopened picture can be taken if you are lost in the forest, if you are desperately looking for clean drinking water. It is interesting to know that in Kuching and Sarawat, the fresh picture is used as a container to make steamed glutinous rice. Even the tough stem can be made into rope. Now I'm going to show you some beautiful flowers. This is French penny. It comes with various colours. Here we have the white colour, the yellow colour, and the pink colour version. All of which the petals feel very velvety. Over here, I have a young French penny flower. French penny is a roadside shrub or small tree, which you can find outside landed houses and it has very fragrant flowers that emit fragrance at night. In Guangzhou, there's a fine flower tea that makes use of dried fanchipani flowers. This flower is also used in TCM, so if you want to find the dried flowers, you can get it from the TCM hall. If you want to use the fresh flowers, you should look out for the one with white petal and yellow center. You can pick it up from the ground, you don't have to cut it from the tree. You can also use the fresh flowers to make into tempura. Next, we come to Vitex. It can grow up to 8 meters tall. 
Vitex have compound leaves of 3 to 5 leaflets. It carries flowers cluster of up to 18 cm and it contains purple colour flowers. The berries is green colour when it's fresh and it will turn purplish to black when it's matured. These are some of the matured berries. In TCM, the dry fruits is believed to alleviate headache symptom. You can find Vitex in community garden. There is also another variety that grow in coastal area called Beach Vitex. This last plant that we're going to talk about is called Pigeon Orchid. It grows as a shrub in a pot or as an epiphyte that supports on plank or tree trunk. It has an enlarged stem at the bottom and grows into a smaller tips at the top. The leaves feels leathery and is dull in colour. It has a one-day flower that is white in colour and has a little yellow dot at the throat and you flower very rarely. That is why I cannot show you the flower today. On the second day, the white colour flower will wilt and it looks like a pigeon hanging on the tip and that is why it's called pigeon orchid. It has multiple stems that can grow up to 30cm length. The dried part of the stem is flattened and coiled and become dendro that's sold in TCM hall. In TCM, dendro is anti-inflammatory and is used to nourish stomach. I hope everyone is still with us. I'm going to demonstrate how we can use some unlikely plants to brew a simple drink at home. Definitely something that can wow your family members. I'm going to use pigeon orchid and sugar cane, both of which are featured in William Fucker collection. We need about six stalk of this length. So what we're going to do is we will cut it into smaller segments. We will also need some fresh pigeon orchid, about 30 grams of it. If we cannot get the fresh pigeon orchid, what you can do is to get the dendrobes from TCM Hall. And that we need about 10 grams. We will also need some red dates, the stone, dry longan, both of which are about 40 grams. After rinsing all the ingredients, we will put them into the pot. For the pigeon orchids, we will cut into smaller segments. We will need 2.5 litres of water. And we will start boiling. When the water is boiled, we will put it to a simmer and boil for another 45 minutes. Now the drink is almost ready. We can add some brown sugar to taste. This drink is good for a family of four and is a good drink to warm the body on a ready day. So you have seen how we brew this drink, isn't it simple? Why not try it at home for yourself and your family members? The William Fucker collection also contains watercolour drawings of clothes, turmeric, pandan, sweet potato, etc. which can be used for drinks too. Why not explore these drawings to find out what else you could use to make the drinks? Remember to take photos of it and share them with us. We would definitely love to see them. You may tag us on social media or send us an email. We have more videos coming up. Please visit the National Museum website to find out the new release every week.
We will see you soon in the next episode.